another Merlin theme park outside of the UK. You're watching Ride Comparisons and today we're here at Gardaland in Italy. Are you ready Jacob? Yeah. We don't know too much about the park, all we know is it's Merlin. They've got a uh, B&M wing coaster that doesn't have a wing overbank and they've also got a B&M dive coaster that's supposed to be very good. So let's go see what we can find at Gardaland. It's August, it's very hot, it's very busy but we'll see what we can do. Getting some real Port Aventura vibes with the fountain there. I just want to start by saying guys, if you are driving here, it's horrible. So allow like two hours extra to your journey because the motorway goes for a toll, everyone cramps together and it just takes forever. I wish I could jump in that fountain, it's so hot. So straight after the entrance, you're greeted by Peppa Pig Land. Another Peppa Pig land. <laughs> Fantasy Kingdom, let's go have a look. It's a very creepy mascot, I'm not quite sure what it is. So it looks like a sort of family area. Some very good theming for the kiddies. Oh, I got wet. Silly elephants. Over there we can see the B&M wing coaster. As I say, it's the first B&M wing coaster me and Jacob will have done that doesn't have a wing overbank. It actually goes straight into the drop, so that's gonna be really interesting, isn't it? So you've got the spinning gold mascot with the fountain at the start. You've got a giant tree with some cartoony theming. Are we at Port Ventura? Feels like it. Don't know what's going on. It's a Merlin Park. Okay, so we found the wing coaster. It's called Raptor. Here's the entrance. Fingers crossed it's not a massive queue. A 76 minute queue time in this heat. Oh, it's gonna hurt. I really hope it's worth it. I think we're gonna come back to this one, guys. It's too hot, that's just too much of a long queue. I really hope this isn't what we got to expect today. So over here in the distance, guys, we've got Oblivion, the black hole. Not Oblivion at Alton Towers. This one is supposed to be a very good one though. I've seen a lot of POVs. I just hope it's not got a massive queue and if it has got a massive queue, I hope the queue's in shade. Because <laughs> it's very hot. So the queues work similar to Energy Landia guys. They have the turn stars that tell you how many people can come in, which is quite cool. I, can't, I like those. Here it is, Oblivion, the black hole. It's even got a similar logo. Where's the queue though? I hope that's not it. 41 minutes, that's not too bad. It's just so hot. Please say they got a single rider. This has to be the worst I've ever felt in a queue line. It's just too hot, isn't it? No shade in a cattle pen. Horrible. This is the most challenging queue line I have ever waited in. What do you think? Oh. Horrible. Point of no return, 100% because I think I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm not allowed to reach there. It's hot. It's too hot. What? 
So what do you think of Oblivion and the Black Hole? Mm. I did like it though. Jacob can't make his mind up because the queue absolutely sucked, so it kind of ruined it. What did you think? Yeah, it's alright. I actually think that was um, better than Oblivion. Definitely better than Oblivion. I'm not sure if it's my number one dive coaster now though, because I do like Baron at um, Efteling. And Valkyria. But the drop better. on that was awesome, because it wasn't like the usual ones. It wasn't smooth when you went down. It literally just clonked you, and it felt oh, like yeah. it was beyond vertical, didn't it? Yeah. It was a really good one, that one. I don't think we're going to get another ride on it though, so I can't really make my mind up. So we're just getting a drink and a uh, snack in the shade. I think we're going to have to get fast track, guys. The cues are just not good here. Right. Jacob's got some Italian pizza bread. We got a little donut. Whilst we're sitting here, guys, let's have a look at the fast tracks. So you got an all-in one there for 140 pounds. Obviously, you're not really going to buy that one because it's so expensive. So you got a 55 pound one there. Top adrenaline. Colorado boat, blue tornado, magic house, raptor and oblivion are on there. Space vertigo and shaman. So with the terrible queue times, I think we're going to have to do that. So that will cost us £160 for the three of us. Whew. But we can't come all the way to Gardaland and not go on anything. The park's open to 11, so that is a redeeming factor, but... Ouch. So now we've had a drink and a bit of shade, we're going to brave the sun again, but we're going to hunt down the water rides. Merlin Scroob. So you got a uh, Merlin ride at a Merlin park. Unfortunately, it's closed though, so I'm not too sure what it is. Where are the rapids? Find the rapids. That's pretty cool for the kiddies there. Kind of like Tidal Wave here, but with a lot better theming. Massive queue. Let's go have a look. Oh, God. Currently a European heat wave, it's about 39 degrees Celsius today, so sorry if there's a lot of complaining guys, but it really is hot. Here's the water ride, actually looks very well themed. It looks like it's only got one drop though. Hopefully it's a big splash, we need it. It doesn't look like you get very wet, do you know where the rapids are? Terrible. It well does look bad. Though. Very well themed, yeah. So we're going to try and find the rapids quickly. 31 minute queue for the jungle rapids. That's a little bit more like it. I really hope they're good ones. Okay, so they were actually pretty good rapids, weren't they, Jacob? Yeah. We're not going to say they're as good as River Quest at Fantasia Land, and they're not as good at the one at Twos and Freed, unfortunately, are they? Oh, we got a noisy jet there, Tornado, Gardaland's SLC. Jacob's favourite. Definitely have to get on right on there, won't we, Jacob? You can go on. <laughs> So it was actually a half an hour queue time, it was accurate, so we're going to go to the other water ride, see what that's like. We just saw a lady dying on a bench, they were tipping water over her because she's too hot. Just to put it in perspective, oh god, it's still a big queue. 41 minutes though, the rapids were accurate, so I don't think this will be too bad, let's go give it a go. Seat belts and some very strange seats on this one, guys. What did you think of that? Good. That was good, that one. That was really good, that one, guys. Um, it, it's kind of a water coaster, but there's a bit where you float halfway through, so I think that's probably why it's not considered a water coaster. But we sat at the front, we got absolutely drenched. That was brilliant. Oh, just what we needed, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, I think we're going to go and look for the um, Jumanji theme ride. I don't know if they've got a Jumanji dark ride or a labyrinth or something. They got we seen, both. They got both. So we've seen posters for it. Obviously, Mandrel Mayhem, World of Jumanji is open at Chessington, so we might as well go and see what it's like at Gardaland. Hopefully they have air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, because it's really hot. That's the lady that was dying, now has an ambulance. Just to put in perspective how hot it is, guys. 
So we looked on the map and uh, we're on the way to Jumanji. We saw there's like a magic house. It says it's an adrenaline experience. It's in the red on the uh, map. So we're going to give it a go, aren't we? It's in the kiddie area. So we're hoping it's not got a massive queue. Fingers crossed. The magic house has a six minute queue. I think we got it. I think we got it right on this one. A pretty good Vekoma Madhouse there, guys. Probably number two, I'd say. It doesn't beat Hex, but it was very forceful. So that was quite a good one, actually. Sky's getting some ice creams. Some nice Italian gelato. <laughs> now there's a Wild West area as well. I keep thinking I'm at Port Aventura. That's what we've been looking for, and it's got a humongo queue. It's wealthy. Hey, it's a Pacoma Looper as well. You gonna go on it? Yeah, I don't mind. 70 minutes. Jumanji the Adventure. Is that the dark ride? Yeah. I hope it's worth it. What do you think? It's really good, I was getting into it. That was awesome. That was actually very good. It took forever, but the uh, the queue's really well themed. I really like that. Yeah. And Jacob was saying he's never had carriages move like that on a dark ride. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it felt really weird. My only issue with it is it's a little bit too short. I, and I thought it felt long enough. You thought it felt long enough, fair enough. The only other thing is the fire exit signs. I don't know why they don't try and disguise them in the theming, but still make them obvious because they just stand out like a sore thumb, don't they? But yeah, it's very good. Definitely do that one, guys. <laughs> okay. Panda spinning mouse. I'm not sure why. Very strange one. 51 minutes for a wild mouse. Oh, they got teacup. Oh, the sun is setting. They got teacup. We're running out of time. Pretty fast operations there, but we should know better. I can't believe we fell for theming. It was just a standard crazy mouse. What did you think? It was all right. Cho! We want to find the Jumanji uh, Labyrinth and then I think it's time to buy a fast pass for the big rides. What do you reckon? Just Don't sit at the front, it's horrible and it hurts. Oh. Jacob and Sky have found the mist room. We could have done with that earlier in the day, couldn't we? <laughs> yeah, no. Jumanji Labyrinth, here we go. What? What is this? Got some bread, Jacob. <laughs> oh no, it's the rip-off rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's a mirror maze. Okay. Is it a good one? Is it a good one? No. It's smearing on the windows. <laughs> it's quite a good one, to be fair. Actually, a difficult one. <laughs> yeah, that's me. This way. I think we should let Jacob lead the way. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it's probably worse than Black Mirror. Black Mirror is easy. You just walk straight through it. Oh, oh there we go. Hold on to the rope. I don't know. This way. Terrible. 
Natal. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, no. The world of Jumanji needs your help. No. <laughs> I think we would have lost loads of lives by now if it was real. That's not the way out though. No. Uh, to be fair, this is actually a good one. Yeah. I thought it was over, but just... Can we go? Oh, that's the, that's the entrance again. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no. Fountain of Youth. Cool, I need some of that. It's PG friendly. <laughs> oh, we found the gym. There you go. We've escaped. There you go, you saved your bungee. Really was bizarre, wasn't it? That was a bit of fun there, guys. Now it's fast track time and coaster time, hopefully. We haven't got long left, so we need to be fast. No, maybe not. 41 and it's cooled down, might as well. It looks a lot better than it did earlier, didn't it? See, I'm, I'm kind of glad we haven't got the um, fast tracks yet, because look at that queue. But then again, look at this queue. Oh dear. Is that 41 minutes? No chance. That's the queue. Yeah. Maybe not. Fast track it is. There's no one in the single rider. Let's give it a go. Just managed single rider, so much quicker, brilliant. What'd you think? It was good but very tame. Very tame. You didn't think it generated a lot of positive G's? Some sections, yeah. And you didn't like the vest locking? No, that really did. I don't like that amount of swarm either, but swarm's great either way. Yeah, I say I, I just said I still think um, Flight of the Demons and Swarm's better, but I think that's my number three. I actually think that's better than Phoenix at Toverland. No. It might be the worst one actually. The worst one? No. I might like Mandrill more. That was, no, you like Mandrill more. <laughs> I like the launches on there. Actually, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's but a tough don't one. Don't on there either. No, this was, this was a completely like different people. experience for a wind coaster. I like this one. What do you think then, Raptor? No, I like it. It's a good layout. It's really smooth. Better than Swarm? Better than Mandrel Mayhem? No. Better than Phoenix at Toverland? No. Yeah, it is better than Phoenix actually. I think it's, it's better than Phoenix. One. Better than Flight of the Demons? That's the best one. The that is awesome the best one. There. It's intense too. As Jacob says, Mandrel Mayhem includes launches. Phoenix at Toverland has a very, very powerful helix. Swarm has good hang time. Swarm has good hang time and Flight of the Demons is just madness. So I'm, I'm actually going to say this is the worst one. You cha Jacob changed my mind, he ruined it for me. <laughs> but that's a lot of fun, isn't it? It is fun. It's still a great one. It's a very fun one. They're all really good rides. It's not an intense one, but it's a fun one. Kind of like Mandrill. Yeah. So we've got a little train coaster here. Oblivion still has a massive queue. We're just going to see if we can avoid the fast track because it is 160 pounds for the three of us. Hopefully now it's getting a bit cooler and people are leaving, we can get on some more rides. Mammoth, 50 minutes. Oh, what do you think? Fast, fast. Oh, how long have we got? 
We're gonna brave the cube. Save money. Good old cattle pen, yeah. <laughs> Operations are good on this one, aren't they? That was a long, long queue, but it went pretty fast. Always moving. Hopefully it's worth it, though. <laughs> what do you think of Mammoth? It was pretty good, actually. I like it. Yeah, it's a good little mine train there, guys. Three lift hills. I think the second section is more intense. Jacob fought the third one. And he likes that you could see the Mammoth at the end as well. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to do the SLC because Jacob's not going to do it with me, as always. But I just want to point out, guys, by Blue Tornado, there's a little restaurant here. It's the Blue Tornado restaurant. They do burgers in there, and the theme is awesome. I just thought it looked great. They got disco lights in there and everything. But we're craving some pasta, aren't we, and some pizza. What else do you crave in Italy? So we've got one more big coaster to do other than the SLC, and that's um, Shaman. It's a Vacoma Looper, isn't it? Yeah, we saw it earlier by Kung Fu Panda, we're going to try and give it a go. Still haven't bought the fast track yet, so we've done well, we've saved £165. <laughs> Operations are great, but the park is very busy. It's starting to die down a bit now though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's and starting to cool down as cool well. Cool down, that's what I was about to say, because it's not as bad standing in the queues when it's a little bit cooler. So that's how we're having oh, some right luck now. now. I'm pretty sure that's your same old SLC layout. There's with, nothing with fancy about it. The with a helix at the end. That could make it worse, I think. That'll make it worse. Yeah, Are you sure you don't want to come on it with me? Hmm. I'm not going on that. Piece of two. Viewers, if you ever see me at a theme park and there's an SLC, come on it with me. <laughs> I go on Mayan and Kumali to their smooth one. Oh, they got disco lights and everything. Come on, Jacob, come on it with me. Old restraints. So we've decided to eat at the um, Pizzeria Saloon. It cost us £60. For that, we've got free pasta dishes, free tiramisu and free drinks. So hopefully it tastes good. We've had some good food in Italy so far, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> good spag salt. <laughs> Big old glass of Coke. Italian French boys. What in God's name is that? Nice. It's definitely not authentic. <laughs> I think we chose wrong, Jacob. Yeah. I'm hungry, we got a small portion. <laughs> yeah, tiny. <laughs> that was the best tiramisu we've had this trip, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's all I've ever had. <laughs> good food at a theme park, what is this? And there was a good carbonara. <laughs> oh, look oh, at that. Wow. What an entrance. <laughs> oh, I do love theme parks at night. The amount of people there, it does kind of remind me of Willibby Fright Nights. <laughs> no, that's worse. You think that's worse? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. There's Sharman in the distance there. Let's go get a night ride. Hopefully it's a good Vacoma Looper. It looks like a good one. 21 minutes. Oh, yes, please. I think this has potential to be the best Vacoma Looper. You don't, I'm not sure. I like you like goo drinks, yeah? So far. many people will hate that. <laughs> well, it definitely wins best station and best theming for a Vacoma Looper. What do you reckon? Yeah, best restraints. Best restraints. What does it ride like, though? Oh, I can't wait for this one. Not sure if the GoPro will catch it, but there's a uh, bug zapper there, and how many it's getting is amazing. <laughs> it's like little fireworks. There's so many, though, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Look up there, Jacob. Oh my god, there's a swarm. A swarm of mozzies. Oh. 
This is the worst Vekoma Looper I've ever been on and it's dangerous. What did you think? I still got a head banging as best and because they have the things on there. The head After the corkscrew, guys, there's one bit and it literally, it is like someone has punched you in the face. It hurt, didn't it? that's what top blue tornado. That was bad. Oh my God. And I like Vekoma's old ones. So right at the end, guys, we bought a fast track. We bought uh, Free for Oblivion. It was uh, 17 pounds. So that's actually pretty cheap. A lot cheaper than 165 we were thinking about spending. Let's go have a night run on Oblivion. Here we go, nice and cool. No ginormous queue. We can get an analysis on Oblivion. Ending the day with a night ride at the front on Oblivion. What did you think, Jacob? It's really good now at the front. Oh, yeah, I love that ride. Way better than earlier. My new favourite BM dive coaster. I didn't think I'd say that. Baron has way better theming, but Baron is now unfortunately number two. The tracking on the drop's third, amazing. Third. That's your third, is it? I like Valkyria and Baron more still. The tracking on the drop is amazing. It feels beyond vertical. Um, the views you get of Lake Garda from the top, the absolutely hill, brilliant. Great floater. And the air, the airtime as well. So what do we think of Gardaland, guys? I like this park, it's great. Yeah, it's been hot, actually. We had a bit of a bumpy start. It was very hot, but we brought it back in the end. It's quite a cheap park. It's a very busy park, but operations have been great. I've had a very good day. Anything yeah. else to add? Don't go on Sherman, it that hurts. Don't go on Sherman, trust me. It felt like I got punched in the face. If you did enjoy today's vlog, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.